Hi everyone, my name is Robin Belton and I am a PhD student in the math department at Montana State University. So one reason I got into math was because of its beautiful artistic side to the subject. And so today with my tutorial, I wanna merge those two sides. So I'm gonna talk about a technique on how to take an image and make it into a mosaic. And for this tutorial, if you just want to listen and watch along, it should be good for anyone. I'm hoping it will be understandable. However, if you do want to actually implement this technique, then you will need to have some familiarity with Python. And if you don't already have Python on your computer, you can watch Sarah Percival's tutorial on getting started with Python. All right, so the technique we're going to use to create these mosaics is through Voronoi diagrams. So what is a Voronoi diagram? Well, you start with a set of points, like I have shown here, and then you're going to create this partition of the plane, and it needs to satisfy the following. So you're gonna create all these different cells, and each cell needs to contain just one point that you started with, and we call these sites sometimes. So each cell contains one site. And then for every cell that you look at, each other point in that cell is gonna be closest to the designated site. So it's gonna be closest to that site than anything else. So in this example here, any point in this lavender shaded region is gonna be closest to the blue point in the lavender shaded region. And so we live naturally Voronoi diagram lives. For example, if all these sites were grocery stores and I lived in the lavender shaded region, I would go to the grocery store, that's the blue point in the lavender shaded region because it's the closest grocery store to me. And the same thing goes for coffee shops or doctor's offices or schools, et cetera. Voronoi diagrams just model our human way of life. And one thing to note is that Voronoi diagrams, we can apply it to any metric space. So any metric space and any suitable metric, you can have a Voronoi diagram. I'm just gonna focus on the plane R2 and the standard Euclidean distance. So Voronoi diagrams also show up in nature a lot. They can be used to model animal patterns. So for example, if we look at a sea turtle, this pattern could be modeled by a Voronoi diagram. And same thing goes with giraffes and the spots on a giraffe. It looks like a Voronoi diagram. And also aside from animals, we can see it in plants. So for example, here is a close up of hydrodictyon algae, which has this very nice mesh netting shape and we could try to model it using a Voronoi diagram. Hopefully by now I have convinced you that Voronoi di diagrams show up a lot in our lives and in nature. So they are a very useful mathematical tool. And now we're gonna go into the artistic side of how we can take an image and create this mosaic from it. In particular, I'm gonna take a look at this image of Lava Lake, which is this beautiful mountain lake between Bozeman and Big Sky, Montana. I highly recommend that you see it if you ever get a chance to come out here. And then from this image, we're gonna create this nice mosaic. So we are going to detour into Jupyter Notebook. All right, so I've written out this nice notebook of how we can apply this process. I am hoping to get some code up onto my GitHub account that does this for people who are interested. However, in the meantime, you can look at this video and pause it and then copy the code into your Python script. So first thing we need is to import the necessary packages. And you may already have these on your computer or you may have to install them onto your computer using either PIP or Homebrew. So I'm gonna run this line of code and we're good. And now I'm gonna upload my Lava Lake image. And I will note that high contrast images work best for this process. 
you won't get a clearly as clearly defined mosaic if you use an image that doesn't have high contrast. So in my lava lake image, it's high contrast because the mountainous landscape, the pixels here are much darker than the pixels for the sky or the frozen lake. To make our lives a little easier, I'm going to convert the image into a grayscale image. So now we have the grayscale image. So we need to get points from this image in order to compute a Voronoi diagram. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna extract the dark pixels from the image. I'm going to extract the pixels that are defining the mountainous landscape specifically. I've extracted those pixels and now here they are. If we try to compute a Voronoi diagram from this set of points, we're gonna have a lot of very tightly packed cells because the points are all very clumped together. So in order to avoid that, I am going to just extract a sample of these points. That is what this chunk of code is going to do. I run it, and now I have a nice set of points that I can compute a Voronoi diagram from. In Python, there are packages that compute Voronoi diagrams, so we don't have to rewrite that code. We can use what's already out there. That is what this code is going to do. And I run it. And here we have a nice, beautiful Voronoi diagram of our points that we picked out from our image. So here we go. Now, the last thing we have to do for our mosaic is to color the cells. So there are different ways you can do this. We could write code that would color the cells according to what the pixel inten intensities were for the original image. However, I like using various color schemes, specifically purple, because it's my favorite color. So I'm just gonna color these by hand in a software called Inkscape, which is very similar to Adobe. I'm gonna go over to Inkscape right now. I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to import that Voronoi diagram image of Lava Lake. And in the code, I, I wrote code that would save it into my home folder. So I'm gonna pick that out. And there it is. And now I'm gonna color this, the cells. And the way I'm gonna do this is with the paint can feature. So I'm gonna pick it out and color it in. And I can continue this process for all the cells in this Fortnite diagram. I've already done this process, so you don't have to watch me color all 500 cells. And this was the final product, voila. We have a mosaic of lava lake. So in summary, what we did is we uploaded our image, converted it to grayscale, extracted the dark pixels, took a sample of them, and then computed the Voronoi diagram, and then colored the cells whatever we wanted. And now we have this lovely mosaic. And so I hope that this tutorial helps give you some new ways to be creative and also mathematical. And thank you so much for listening to this tutorial. And feel free to email me at my email listed above if you have any questions. Bye.